a story about me and David. <laughs> She's honestly just overall awesome. I know when we first started talking, I was just like immediately just impressed. Like, man, I need to, to get to know this, this woman some more. And like our first date, we were just talking and talking and talking. It, it all just came so naturally. The first thing is like, he loves Jesus. And that's one of my, the main reasons, yeah. And he's so sweet, he's gentle, he's everything I wanted in someone, so. But they all disappear, they will let you down. The people at the band were giving us dirty looks, like, you guys gotta get out of here already. Uh, and then, so like, we went to Starbucks and then we were there until they closed, and it was like, we should probably call it a night here because we could just keep talking and talking and talking. Yeah, this world gonna get it right. Well, we met a long time ago in, in college. I mean, back then it was just like, I didn't even think about him that way. It was also like, whatever. But then later on, <laughs> because like the next month I ran into him at Target. I just like looked at him and we'd say, say hi awkwardly. And I was just like, oh, he actually is kind of cute. And then I called Lydia and I was like, Lydia, you know, <laughs> do you know David? I'm like, he's really cute. <laughs> in, uh, in the Super Bowl party. <laughs> And he made me cook. That you cook. <laughs> <laughs> he made me cook. Cause we got love. Like how I look? I love how you look. I like my darling joke. It was. You wanna get it? She's like, she can run away. For a reason, but you try to deny that we should be together. It's heavy weather, we're heading for tonight. You better take what you can, cause the time is right now. We only need the two of us together. And both like the first date we were like hey we don't want to waste each other's time like if the end goal isn't marriage like it doesn't make sense to continue talking and like we both laid that out like the first first date like we were talking and um just to be able to have mature conversations like that was was like a huge green flag um and yeah i was just i was impressed i'm still impressed she continues to impress me so yeah Like she, she loves people. She, she'll give it to you straight though. If she, she sees you like, yo, you're doing something stupid. She's gonna tell you, like, you know, she, she'll give it to you straight um, because she cares. Like that's kind of just like who she is. I mean, she, she works with mental health patients, which takes a lot of doing. Um, it takes a special kind of person to do what she does, anyways. You know, because she wants to be there for people. Um, she's there, I mean, she's there for me, and that's, you guys know how hard that is. He is someone who is very organized. Uh, I would say he's like passionate about what he loves doing, like he gives it his all. He is very gentle, but he can be very stern at the same time, and very caring. He's a, he's a gentleman, like a really good gentleman. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness, and I marry you. In the name of the Father, the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Le presento a la señora, a la señora y a la señora Manning. I now introduce Mr. and Mrs. Manning. You may kiss the bride.
first of all, I'm super excited for my best friend getting married. So if we could all give it up for them. Yay! <laughs> David, you are so deserving of this amazing woman. You are highly favored from the Lord as he allowed her to become your wife. When we were both single, I remember constantly telling her that her husband was going to be so blessed. And I continue to stand by that. You're truly taking like the most beautiful gem ever. My prayer for you both is that you always turn to Christ and draw closer to Him every day. And in doing so, you guys will draw closer to each other. So it's David, Jeanette, God. So then you guys will cl grow closer to each other like a little triangle. And um, as a toast for Mr. and Mrs. Manning. Yay! Love you guys! <laughs> I, I totally appreciate everything that you are to him and for him and everything that you stand for and your walk with Jesus being the most important thing. And I know David's walk with Jesus, you know, and when you guys walk hand in hand with Jesus being right there in the middle, you guys will flourish. You guys will. <laughs>